value approval circuitry is bypassed, safety approval circuitry is bypassed. And they've even done like monkey studies. We watch these, these orangutan shows. And they've done monkey studies that, say, that show that um, if they put like a male monkey by himself, the chicks don't give a shit. And they put like a female or two next to him and then all the other females want to come over. So it's like, the, it's like this primal thing because we used to live in tribes and there was an alpha leader of the tribe. And when there's other, I think that's basically what we're doing. We're like going back to like primal times, even though monogamy makes up, it's only 5% of mammalian species are monogamous. Humans are not meant to be monogamous. Hi, what's up guys? Jonathan here, Liz, and unique princess here. <clears throat> so, yes. Today our video is going to be about our some experience, our first some experience that happened like what, three weeks ago? Maybe yeah. two? Four? Our first, sorry, we've had a some separately yeah, on yeah, my birthday. Yeah, our first like all together, mm -hmm. right? So how this amazing night started? It and started... Let me shout out a couple things quick. Uh, to learn the whole system, she's like, don't interrupt me. But I have to say this <laughs> in the beginning of every video. Uh, to learn the whole system A to Z, this is going to be a, a five some cold approach whole story, by the way, uh, to learn the whole system, jump on a free 30 minute call with either me or one of my coaches, <laughs> you're like, hurry the fuck up. <laughs> and we will show you how we can get you very good, very fast. And also please subscribe if you have not already. All right. Great. So how did it start? It was like a weekday, it was Thursday. Thursday. Thursday, right? Mm -hmm. Was a weekday, I remember that because I was like super like tired from work and I was like just talking to her, hey, we should go out and like do something. Yeah, and then like I talked to John, like, oh, uh, the initial plan was like to hang out, right? Mm -hmm. And then you said, oh no, let's go to the bar. Okay, so. And we hadn't been out in a while. Yes, we haven't yeah. been on in a while and it was like kind of like here it's kind of getting more cold. So that's why I don't think people uh, it's winter are in Brazil. Out, uh, going like out cold. So much. Yeah, cold, but not that cold. Relative. And then we went to this bar, but we just went to downtown to find like a bar, a nice place. We went to this nice place and we were like in the door to get in, but the place was already packed. So we asked to the, to the guy, to the waiter, you say waiter, when the guy that comes to... Like the host? Yes, the host. And oh, we want a table for three, we want to get in. And the guy said, oh, I'm sorry, it's full. And there was like these two girls outside. They were like hanging there. And they were in the bar, but they were like outside smoking. Mm -hmm. And one of them were like, got my attention because she was really, really pretty. I love reddish, like one's like redhead. natural. We say redhead in English. Redhead, okay. Redhead. I love redhead. And she's like all like nice, like poster, you know. So it got like my attention. So I started talking to her, hey, what's up? Oh, we were trying to get in here, but it's not working because the house is full. And she said, oh no, let me try to get like, um, I know other bar, I know uh, the owner, so maybe you guys can go there. And then you were like, okay, so, and then she was like trying to. But we, were, but we were in like pickup mode as well. So like I've ta taught them the basics of game and stuff like that. So I was like, get a number, get a number. And yeah, but I got her number right away. It wasn't like, yeah. it was like, I got her number. And we were also like we were seating like, for her to come back home yes. later. But you were like, the first thing was like, we were just talking, introducing ourselves because now we're three, so we have to just one, another, another. Yeah, so yeah, it's like, yeah. it becomes this big conversation. And there was, <laughs> she wasn't by herself, she was with her friend too. So, and then like, we started talking and at some point, uh, one of the tables was available, so we could, go, we could get in. But after talking like for at least like five minutes or something, right? Mm -hmm. And then, like at first, we stayed um, downstairs, it was like a two-story place. And then we went up with them, right? And then, like, she was like in her pre-birthday party. So we ended up like hanging out that night. Mm -hmm. Do you want know, to like take from here, like more details from that night? Mm -hmm. So we got upstairs with them and we started making out with the red head one and we asked them to come to our house. Do they have objections? Was there any objections when we asked them to come back? Mm, no, I think, I think didn't they, they were more like, oh, what about my friends here? And they said, yeah. oh, don't worry. Like tomorrow you're gonna celebrate your birthday again because yeah. it was a pre-birthday party, so I said, It was like no, the night before her on. birthday. That's like one night before. 
tomorrow you're gonna have the whole day with your friends, so let's enjoy the night, you know? And we were like very close to each other, me and the red head, because she's really, 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 really my type, like super pretty, like uh, like small, like all like athletic body. She, does she was like debating living, living here at one point as well. <laughs> yes, exactly. It was like super fun, like, like for this point. Uh huh. So when we are going, come back to home, uh, I said to John, John, go with Liz in another cab. Is right? Cab, yeah. Uh, go with Liz in another cab because we have COVID here. And COVID here? Co co yes. Because <laughs> we have COVID I, I, here. I'm not that good in English. I just practice in. No, it's awesome. You with John. To be so I'm getting better. So you call, you call the taxi for them. We went in our taxi, and then she almost fucked it up, actually. Yeah. You to tell this part? Because you never teach me that. Yeah, so there was like some little details that she had missed, but we fixed. Basically, like, as we're leaving, so like her friends like ended up rolling off, and then we, we were together, and there was like these Asian guys at the next table, which is very rare for Brazil, but there was like these guys from Korea visiting, and they spoke fluent Portuguese. I guess they were living in Sao Paulo or something like this, and we live in Florianopolis. And they were like talking to the girls, and the one dude was like, hey, can I like get in a picture with all your girls? We could probably put that picture up and we'll like blur everybody's faces. <laughs> yeah, it's very funny. And I'm like, yeah, it's cool. He's like, are you sure? Are you sure? I'm like, yeah. yeah. He's like, my friends will think I'm really cool. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I was amazing. And it's really funny because he looked like, I think we can show his face. I, don't, I doubt he'll see this. Um, I did send him my channel, though. But we, he looks like the, one of the memes. Yes. One of the, the meme faces. But. Uh, it's funny, I sent it to my friend the next day and he's like, oh, it's funny, you fucked all these girls and like he's just in there like just being like, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it was very respectful. No, he was it nice, was but, nice. But, the guy, but they wanted to come and they were like, hey, can we come? And I was like, no, absolutely not. And then He was so happy to take your speech. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he looked pretty yeah. thrilled. We'll show the picture, it's pretty funny. Yes. And, okay, so then, but here's the part where she almost fucked up is like basically, um, our Uber, our, we had called when our Uber arrived first and I thought she was good with the two girls. And she was coming across, like your Uber thing wasn't working or something, and you no, needed her phone? it would take more long time than yours. Oh, so basically like she needed to come use one of our phones, and we were already getting into our Uber, and she, you like left the girls. So that was like the big mistake. She like crossed the street, because we had already crossed the street, and hers was like... I, I was going to talk to the guys. She crossed to come talk to us, and the girls were left behind and like they were all getting hit on like all the, there was a bunch of guys outside like vultures like trying to grab them and the asian guys were trying to convince them to go somewhere and um i was like go the fuck back over there and like just fucking talk to the dudes or talk to the chicks and like tell them tell other guys like they're with me and this and that and cock block everybody mm -hmm. and so she did that and it was fine and then they came in the in the taxi and then it was cool because the redhead, we didn't know that she like pole danced and we had this pole that we just got like yeah. a month ago mm -hmm. and they've been taking classes and so the redhead like jumps on and is like, she's like really good, she was taking one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. lessons yeah. and um, basically uh, she was like, oh I need more comfortable clothes so I was like, Liz, can you get everybody lingerie because we have like a bunch of like outfits here and lingerie and stuff like this so then there's like four Brazilian girls like naked like putting on different lingerie and like getting up on the pole, taking mm -hmm. turns and then the rest of the night, it was just like bang fest. Where I think, I think you started it off yeah, with, exactly. with the brunette chick. Um, and, and so, okay. With her and so yeah, she was like she was like dancing with the brunette, and like then they were like doing like sixty nine or something on the couch. Was it sixty nine or one of you was say Santa Nova, uh, or was one of you going down on the other? I think one of you might have been just going down the other. Um, but I came down here with the redhead. Cause she was getting a drink, and then the redhead like starts giving me a blowjob in the kitchen. <laughs> Did you, I, don't think, yeah. I don't know if I told you that. When you got in your home, she's already jumping your, in you. Yeah. It was like crazy. Yeah. But like basically, the redhead was like, oh, like she's giving me a blowjob in the kitchen, and she's like, I don't know if I can have sex with you tonight because I'm actually like out with this girl. Like she was like more, like on the girl side than, into, but she's also on the dudes too. But like that, she was like out like kind of like with that girl for the night. Right, so she's like, I can come back a different night and hook up with you guys, but like, I'm out with her right now. So, but since you started it off with yeah. the other one, then since that was all good, then we all started like kissing and this and that, and then I ended up banging the brunette one that you had started with. I start take her clothes off for then. Then this was the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I, I started banging the brunette, and then I um, and then the redhead saw like that the brunette was getting banged, so she was had good permission. And so then she jumped on, but she was like so small. 
because yeah, she's very small. She was like tight, mm -hmm. like tight body, like almost like a gymnast or something like that. Mm -hmm. But I remember like when she was orgasming, she was like shaking yeah. so hard, and I was like holding her in really tight, and her whole body was like, ah, 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 ah. Mm -hmm. and it went like really, really, really long. We're so sexy. And she kept like convulsing, convulsing, mm -hmm. and everyone was watching, and like you were getting involved, and like mm -hmm. it was just, like really, really nice. And then, so that was like uh, threesome number one, or five some number one. And then, it's funny because it's like two new girls, but since there's three of us. And then when we, when the other girl was in the blonde girl, in like a week or two, which was also super hot, um, anytime we bring a girl, that'll turn into a five some. Just one new girl over will turn into a five some. And then, yeah, so no, many girls. Far some. Yeah. No, we'll have foursomes in the house because it'll be me and you three. Yeah, he's saying like add one more oh, girl, it's okay. gonna be yeah. any other girl. So it's gonna be like, like five some, five so, some, five, yes. some, five, five some, five Everything's like gonna that. be. So it's gonna be on demand, like one on one stuff between me and the three of you guys. Mm -hmm. Three sums will be two different combinations, and then or four some where it's all of us. Mm -hmm. And then any girl we bring in, that'll turn to a five sum plus. So like one girl, five sum, two girls, six sum. Oh my god. Hey. We, haven't, we, haven't, yeah. we haven't done like seven some, like even even six some, I think, because we were you at, at any. Six some. Did you? But at any given time, it was just five max, I think. Yeah. There was like lots of interchanging, but. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, but, but what's cool is, and we'll do a separate video on this, um, we can do a video on when we had like the little lunch party. Mm. And then we ended up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun too. We had just had, so there was a girl, we'll do this in a future video, but we, we had just had a girl over that her and I had had a threesome with, and then she came over and had a threesome with you and me. Mm -hmm. And then two of our other friends came over and we all had lunch <laughs> after the threesome girl slept over when she came to visit us. And then those two, out of those two girls, I had already banged one off Tinder, and the other one I had banged from like a. It's like a pharmacy pickup. Oh my god, you know what I realized? I also banged everybody at that table. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yeah! I think one and another. Oh my god! I didn't bang one, one, one two, just one. Three. Yeah, just oh, yeah. one. Yes. Because it's the one that's not banging anymore. Yeah. 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 yeah, there was one yeah, there was one that like has a boyfriend now. Yeah. But we had, she, uh, had she, a, yeah, but now she became a friend from like a year ago now. She was yeah, she was like a girl one on one for me originally and then it turned into a threesome thing and then her and Liz became mm. close friends. If you're watching this, you yeah, know. She, wa nah, she does watch that. Oh. She watches our channel. Yeah, she was actually like mad at me. She was mad at me at one point because I was like, Oh yeah, this one girl was a huge bitch that we had a threesome with and she thought I was talking about her, but yeah, it was, but it, was another one. it was about some <laughs> other some other girl. Yeah. Um yeah. I have like relatives that watch my videos now. What up? <laughs> They're like, <laughs> my dad has the same name. <laughs> my dad has the same name, so whenever they, people look up my dad, they find these kinds of things here. Uh, so, <laughs> so we'll do a, a future video on that. But, the, but basically, the summary of that is like after the lunch, you were going up with two of the girls, and then, no, you were going up with three of the girls, and we took one of them. We took the hot one, the really hot one. She was going up with three girls, and we took one and oh, okay, went okay, to the okay, other room. Okay, 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 okay. And then we started hooking up, and then later you came down with the other one. Yeah. <laughs> and it turned into a, Oh my god. That was yeah, another five some. And then, you know, we'll tell those stories as, in separate videos. But, okay, but how did you guys, uh, that was like our first, like, club poll together. Mm -hmm. It was actually really easy. Like, I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot easier with girls. And also, like, for me, even though I know all the steps inside out, it, it makes it a lot easier for me as well. And that's, that's not why I'm seeing the girls. There's lots of other benefits to just having easier pulls. But, um, like I said, your value circuitry is bypassed. Value approval circuitry is bypassed. Safety approval circuitry is bypassed. And they've even done, like, monkey studies. We watch these, these orangutan shows. I love it. And they've done monkey studies that, say, that show that um, if they put like a male monkey by himself, the chicks don't give a shit. And they put like a female or two next to him, and then all the other females want to come over. So it's like, the, it's like this primal thing, because we used to live in tribes, and there was an alpha leader of the tribe. And when there's other, I think that's basically what we're doing. We're like going back to like primal times, even though monogamy makes up, it's literally 5% of mammalian species are monogamous. Humans are not meant to be monogamous societal constructs um, like the church and the state have pushed those things because the familial unit is easier to control and this and that. Um, but that's why the divorce rates are so high, the cheating rates are so high. It's actually not very natural. And we're kind of experiencing the benefits of 
just bringing more and more chicks, hot chicks, into our tribe, <laughs> and then just having like tons of orgy parties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much like that. <laughs> so, life. so we'll we'll have more future videos get, telling other stories, going over the girls' thoughts on the lifestyle and this and that. But as always, please uh, drop comments in the in the comments below about what kind of videos you'd like to see with these girls. Um, we're going to be doing a, a video very soon announcing their OnlyFans pages. They're going to be doing an OnlyFans uh, work non-nude, at least at first. Uh, just kind of documenting a bunch of the shit happening in the house, but it will be very tied in, almost like a, yeah. a brotherhood, sisterhood <laughs> with my channel because I live with these girls and they're going to have lifestyle stuff happening, which I'll be a part of. And if you're lucky, one day you will see my cock. Oh my god! Oh my god! The huge, nice cock. <laughs> so, um, here, let's get let's get one for the thumbnail here. Get kiss on both cheeks. <laughs> okay. Uh, so that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe below if you haven't already. Press the notification bell. Um, we're not gonna have room on the camera once once the blonde chick moves in. Um, we can have her like sit in the middle or whatever. <laughs> Jump on a free 30-minute call if you want to master the whole game and create a life like this. I have all the... Basically, there's like a formula to setting this up now, too, because mm -hmm. I went through the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And so I have that... Uh, I'm getting clients, I'm getting guys signed up that are married that want to bring in additional women into their marriage. I'm getting guys signing up that want to have simultaneous girlfriends that know about each other, either living separately or living as part of their life. Um, for those of you that think this kind of lifestyle is stupid, like Roel Tomasi, the dumbass, uh, who says one of <laughs> Tomasi... Iron rules of Tomasi, he says, like... You're like a loser or a simp or whatever if you live with girls in, out, of, out of marriage or something. Oh Sounds God. like advice from like a, a Christian parent or something like this. Um, That's weird. <laughs> um, it's actually really awesome. Andrew Tate's doing the same thing. He has six girlfriends. He had, and I have a bunch of side, side rotation girls as well. Like there's I think like 13 or so now they come in and out. But it, you know, I, I try to see them mostly when you guys are busy doing other stuff. But sometimes, um, you know. Usually the girls in and out. There was a girl just before this video that bounced out of here, and then we got to record it. You guys were getting ready anyway, so it didn't really matter. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, we'll go over all that stuff. But Andrew Tate's living with two of the girls and has four of the other ones in a separate house. I was thinking we could do that too, potentially. Oh my god! But we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll see where things go. So stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank and you. And we will see you on the next video. Okay. Take care. Bye. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active, while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.